Hey Doodles, and welcome back to another episode of Mo and the Mass. This week we'll be tackling the theme Little Mermaid because the new remastered 4K DVD came out. And let me tell you, it looks beautiful. I had to run out to Target that Tuesday night just to get it right away. And I came home and I watched it. And it looks beautiful. The colors are just amazing. And to go along with this theme this week, I decided to Disney bound as Flounder because he's just so cute and adorable. He's got those bright yellows, those bright blues, and he's just like, his cheeks are just so pinchable, you know? He's like the sweetest. So let's dive right in and take a look at the outfit. So that was my flounder look. Now I'm going to walk you guys through the whole outfit and tell you where the pieces are from. If I can remember, there's a few that I don't actually remember where they came from. Um, so let's just dive right into it. So for, I'll start at the top, go to the bottom. So for earrings, I'm wearing these seahorses. Um, my mom actually picked these up in Bermuda, so I don't actually know where they're from or anything. But you can get these, you can probably get these at like Charming Charlie's. They have like a lot of accessories, especially in the nautical uh, range. Um, my glasses are the same glasses I wear all the time. They're purple and they're by Michael Kors. This scarf is just like an electric blue scarf. Um, my dad picked it up in California on a vacation, on a work trip once, um, but it's just a basic blue scarf. This um, angelfish necklace. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the light. Um, is from Charming Charlie's. Uh, this ring is it's like a piece of like agate, I think. Um, came in a subscription box called Owl Crate, which is all about like books and stuff. Um, and it's just so cute. I thought it was like really close to the color of the like sea glass that was in the pirate ship that Flounder and Ariel were in with the shark. Um, and I thought that was really cute. And then speaking of, of Owl Crate, this bracelet also came in that. It's, I think it's supposed to be like a tree branch, but I thought it looked like coral, which I thought was really cool. Um, this yellow sweater, long sleeve sweater, is from Target. It's from Wild Fables. And the skirt, oh, can you guys see it? Has like studs on it. And this is also from Wild Fables. It's a denim skirt. Um, I thought it was like really good for flounder because the way that the, sorry, because the way that the studs like catch the light, it's kind of like fish scales, I thought. Um, and then I paired it with these sneakers, oh, they're untied. Um, which have like this like iridescence to them, which I thought was also like fish scales. These are from Rue 21. And to finish the look, I paired it with this circle purse, which is actually a Hey Hey purse. And I just thought the colors were so right for Flounder with the electric blue strap and the cloud like the sky blue and got a little hey hey on the back um so that's really it for flounder he was like pretty simple to make i was kind of inspired by like a 2000s vibe with like the cropped sweater and the denim skirt and the white like platforms um but let me know what you think do you, like do you think it's like 2000s or do you think it's just like every day and who's your favorite character from Little Mermaid? I think my favorite Little Mermaid character would have to be Flounder because he's just like shy and timid and just kind of like me. And he's like that go-to friend that like always got your back. 
I really like that. So now I'm just going to just give you a quick look at my makeup. Um, I just always find that it's really helpful to see like what makeup to pair with Disney masks because like I find that you can add those little like, little subtle details to the look to kind of like bring it all together. Um, so I'll just give you a quick look, a little a little rundown. If you want me to make a video on any of the makeup looks I show you or will show you in the future, um, just leave a comment below and I'll gladly film one for you guys. So here it is. I'll take my glasses off so you can see. So it's like a subtle, not it's not subtle, it's bright blue. Uh, so it's just a blue look um, to complement the yellow from Flanders outfit. Um, and just kind of a basic face, just some beauty blender, foundation, some bronzer. I did go a little heavier on the bronzer because it takes uh, Little Mermaid takes place in the ocean, so like they'd be outside to be a little more tan. Um, right now it's like the dead of winter where I live. It's snowing currently right now, so I'm very, very pale. <laughs> um, so just like some blues. I did like three different blues, a little shimmer in the corner, basic lashes, and then I paired it with a coral lip. Um, I actually have it right here. It's from ColourPop. And it's in the color Double Scoop, which is their like ice cream line from last year. Actually, put some more on. Here we go. Um, so it's actually a pretty simple look, besides the eyes, which are very loud and bold. Um, but it's kind of how I like to do it: very like simple, natural face, and then, bam, with the eyes. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you guys ever want me to recreate it for you, just leave it in the comment. Alrighty doodles, so that does it for this week, wrapping up the Little Mermaid week. Um, so next week starts the March Disney Bound Challenge, which I will be partaking in. I will post every day on my Instagram, so make sure to follow me at Mo and the Mouse and keep up with my daily Disney Bounds. Um, so I like to post every Friday. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do like kind of like a vlog next week kind of thing where I just like show you the, every outfit of the day and then kind of combine them all together as like a weekly wrap up um, let me know what you guys think about that or I can just like pick one bound from that week that I felt like kind of like stood out above the rest and walk you guys through that one um, but yeah definitely leave it leave it in the comments what you guys think I should do and I hope you guys are also partaking in the Disney March Disney Bound Challenge. And if you are, leave it in the comments. I'll follow you on Instagram. Um, and that's really it, doodles. So I will I will catch you doodles next week. Bye. Like tied between Sebastian and Flounder because it's like both my personality traits, which is like overbearing and nope. Let's cut that. Cut that out because I don't want people to know that I'm cranky. Um, so yeah, I think my favorite, okay doodles, so that does it for this week, crush the Little Mermaid theme, uh, that was my Google Home, okay.